All right, Gita, thank you again. Hopefully this will really help people. You know, everybody that uses YouTube and watches videos, they benefit a lot from the video. So it's from people like you that are willing to do mock tests that others can really pass the driving test, you know? Yeah. So thanks again. Right, now, how would you feel about doing a mock test? So we just did sort of a warm-up one or a new route that you haven't done before. Yeah? So this one, I will do my best to be a little bit less chatty, mm -hmm. but I would like you to ask as many questions as you feel you want to. Yeah. If you feel like saying anything out loud, like, oh, what do I do here? Or what about that? You know, anything. Yeah. Just say, mm -hmm. oh, I need to check my mirrors. Oh, I need to put myself in drive first before I do the signal, yeah. um, before I look around, you know, anything. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, and this route, actually, uh, I don't know where it's going to take us. So I'm going to be watching the road as much as you. Yeah. So when I don't know where I'm going, I'm very vigilant at looking for street furniture, which is signs, road markings, uh -huh. okay? Anything that's sort of on the side or kind of hanging around the road. And then that way I can help myself to plan early. So mm -hmm. if I see a warning triangle, what's it warning me about? You know, is there a traffic light up ahead that's green? Yes, it, there is. It'll probably turn red before I get there. Look at the zebra poles with the beacons in it. Oh, there's a zebra crossing. Are there any people yeah. there? The list goes on, but just looking for street furniture is incredibly useful. I'm going to be doing that because yeah. I'm not too sure where it's going to go. Okay. Um, this is an official test route. Okay, so mm -hmm. we've got the sat nav, we're going to follow the sat nav. We're going to be driving for about 45 minutes. We're not going to do the maneuver because we want to make this video as short and sweet as possible and just focus on the test routes. Yeah. Tomorrow we're going to do our maneuvers before your actual real exam. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, any questions before we get started? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> Nothing. Okay, I'm put my seatbelt on. If it's safe and you're ready, drive on and follow okay. the sat nav. If you're not okay. sure about the directions, <laughs> just ask. Ready? Yeah, ready when you are. Okay, very nice double blind spot check there, well done. At the end of the road, turn left. Chamberlain Way. Turn left. So, very good again on your junction. For anybody watching, just observe how good Gita is at looking at her mirrors before signaling what the timing is so you know she looks at the mirrors first what two mirrors does she check what way does she signal when does she start to signal how far away from the junction at the end of the road turn right b466 cuckoo hill then take the second left again perfect routine there well done the routine's mirror signal turn right then take the second left mirror signal in that order. Position, which you've done nicely here, on the center line. Yeah. Speed, look, and the speed's very good. Every time you approach a junction, it's a very gentle speed, from maybe a running speed to a jogging speed to a walking speed as you approach the end of the road. Very good point of turn for your right turn, turning at the center line, okay? So positioning for right turn, center line, Nice and tight on the center line on the road that you're on, and then you reach the center line and turn right, okay? Excellent. Very good. Checking mirrors every six to 10 seconds. Thank you for sticking to the speed limit, or even slightly below, because these speed bumps After are 200 yards, turn left, high view. Speed bumps are horrendous. So we're going down onto high view. So we've got 100, 100 yards now. So this is a time where we would start to look in the mirrors. Turn left. And you can see the car's pulling out here. It's a little bit narrow. So you're very good at your speed. 
wait to see the corner disappear yeah. and then we stay. Lovely, well done. Okay, for, uh, for the purpose of this mock test, I'm not going to ask you to pull up and stop on the left. I'm not going to get you to do the maneuver again, just to keep the video flowing. We did all of the pulling up and stopping on the left for the yeah. last one, so you've got to practice. And there's no faults with that. You're doing your mirrors, you're signaling, you're pulling up in a safe place, convenient place, i.e., raised curbs, not blocking the road with any parked cars on the opposite side. Okay, Geet, so we're going to do your show me question. Uh, I'd like you to show me how you wash the rear window, please, when it's safe. After 200 time. yards, turn left, west end lane. Have you forgotten? Yeah. Will you just say, I'm sorry, I forgot. Sorry, I forgot. Good, because if you start focusing so much on that, you might not focus on the driving mm -hmm. and end up hitting something, which is a fail. Yeah. End of the turn road, turn left. left. Good, you made your decision, commit. Well done. That's a bit new. More roadworks, jeez. Oh, Everywhere. Tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I don't Sorry. see that finishing, so I'm sure it'll still be here. There's road closures around here. After as well. 300 yards, turn left, Elm Park Road, then take the second right. Okay, so Geeta's also very good at checking the mirrors before changing direction. Um, so for any change of direction, usually around parked cars, there was roadworks. Mm -hmm. uh, check the mirrors out as you move out, before you move out, and check the mirrors in before you move in. And uh, checking the mirrors like Geeta's doing every six to ten seconds will cover you for every mirror check. Turn left, Elm Park Road, then take the second right. Traffic lights are going to be turning right. After 100 yards, turn right, A404, Duxbridge Road. Now, a lot of people struggle with crossroads, especially this one, and you can approach it from any direction. This is very close to the Shell petrol station roundabouts, okay? It's useful that you know this area. Um, take your position nice and gentle into the middle of the road because it changes yeah, sometimes. Yeah. There, now generally, we've got the roadworks here causing a problem. Generally we could go and wait in the middle. Two cars could go and wait in the middle. But that's only if the exit's clear. Can you see the, get yeah. the exit's yeah. blocked? So in that situation, we wait here yeah. at the stop line. Anyhow, the Look red at that. light. Yeah. Oh, here is going that way. Mm. So that is going to be, well, it seems to have cleared up now, but if mm. the exit is blocked for whatever reason, it's going to make it a little bit trickier yeah. um, to try and do the right turn. But fingers crossed it stays open. And then how many cars can wait in the middle of the junction usually? Two. Yes. Do you remember there's that one crossroads over by, there's a Ricelip station. I can't remember what one. I want to say Ricelip Gardens, but I don't think it is. And there's a keep clear zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the one where only that one way. car can wait. Yeah. Turn right, A404, Duxbridge Road. Alright, would you walk out? I would have. Maybe not so much now, the car's probably yeah. coming. Ah, good. Done. Alright, because behind the guy that stopped in front of us, yeah. we could see before we went in there, there wasn't really any oncoming traffic. Yeah. So we could have just completed the turn in one rather than stopping, which would slow and stop traffic behind us unnecessarily, mm -hmm. which is a serious fault. Yeah. Okay, so we're very good at observing, looking as far ahead as possible. Um, do so, and then you'll make a good assessment whether you need to stop or not, yeah? yeah? Try to keep the flow going. 
Here we are back to Roadworks. All right, Geeta, you're going to do all your show me, tell me questions today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. Yeah, do it's here, isn't it? It is. Go on, give it a squeeze. Yeah. A deep squeeze all the way in. Squeeze it. There you go. So it's like two clicks. One is just a wipe, and then the second, the deeper yeah. click, is the wash. Okay? Oh, yeah. Right. Um, wash the front window as well, then. Same stick, different button. Wash the front window. Oh, sorry. <laughs> front. See the icon in the bottom right hand corner, the black and white box with the wiper? Uh -huh. That's the back window wiper. So push that button this again, one. that will turn off. Mm. We don't want that. We want the front. So just turn, oh. it, turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. Let's yeah. focus on this. We'll come back to the front window wiper later. We're going to stop again because this yeah. road works. Okay, while we're driving, can you tell me how would you know if there's a problem with your foot brake? Yeah, when I try to brake, um, it has to be um, not spongy. Very good answer, well done. Slack or spongy is what the DVSA have written down as the answer. So as soon as you say slack or spongy, bam, you've answered the question. Right, back to the front window wiper, or front mm. window wiper and washer. This button on the oh. edge of the stick. Push it in deep again. All right. <coughs> right, I got it now. Okay, Your so car is quite new one. <laughs> yes, it is, and it's here to help. Um, now, this is where I'm going to be the strict teacher. I gave yeah. you homework, didn't I? Yeah. What was it? Do you remember I sent you the link for the video? Yeah, that's right. All right. Yeah. Show me, tell me questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you do your homework, Gita? I did. You did? <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> Alright, because then you'll know. You did kind of get to the back window wiper and washer, yeah. well done. Now there's but pictures. I'm sure. Can you see the picture there? Yeah. Two arrows. That's a fan shape, fan yeah. shape front yeah. window, rectangle rear window. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you're That's not sure, you can look for the pictures. I help you. Show me, tell me question. Good. Yeah. Because you remember if you're doing, help, yeah. doing lessons with anyone at Two Day Pass, yeah. um, and the automatic cars, they're this car, okay, it's a colleague of mine who also mm -hmm. has this car, um, and the manual cars will be different, but the show me, tell me questions are there, okay. Yeah. Right, um, next show me, tell me question, we talked about one break question, there's three in total, let's do the other two. So can you tell me, how would you know if there's a problem with your anti-lock braking system? Yeah, it's coming up on the screen. Good. Now, it's amber light. It is. It's yeah. an amber light. Uh, can you describe how it looks, just in case you get an exam that's quite thorough? It's showing abs. Yes. Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah. Lovely. Well done. Okay. Um, now, this last break question is a little bit of a weird one, and I don't think it'd be asked in this vehicle because we don't have a handbrake. Yeah. So can you tell me, let's wait until we clear this or see what happens. All right, now, although it's a private property and it's not a yeah. public road, you never know. Someone might come out here through this um, roadworks, then try to turn right into the private property, which we've blocked. Yeah. Yeah. And then if they're blocked from turning in here, the whole road's blocked and there's roadworks down there, we're just going to have a real nightmare on our hands. So mm. ideally, maybe if okay. it's private yeah. or public, Depends if it's a one-way or two-way road, because mm -hmm. if it's a one-way, it doesn't matter, because no one can turn in, yeah? Mm -hmm. But two-way, we've got to try and keep a gap here, just in case someone comes along yes. to turn in. Right, so back to the handbrake question. How do you keep the car secure and test or check your handbrake for excessive wear? So in layman's term, how do you keep the car secure so it doesn't move, 
while you release and reapply your handbrake to test to see it's working. How do you stop the car from moving if you're releasing the handbrake and putting it back on? What other brake do you have that you can hold on while you release your handbrake? You feel something? Yeah. Right? One well, more push Yeah. So you hold the foot brake on. Mm. That keeps the car secure. Mm -hmm. If you had a handbrake, you'd release it mm -hmm. and reapply it. Yeah. And you want the handbrake to feel like the foot brake. Oh, secure. Okay. Yes. Firm. If yeah. the handbrake's slack or spongy, yeah. it's broke. Mm. All, right. All right. So tell me, how do you keep the car secure? And test your handbrake for excessive wear. Yeah, for the foot, foot brake. Yeah, so you hold, hold the foot brake foot on. Brake. Yeah. And then what do you do with the handbrake to test it? And check it. See, when you say yeah, yeah, yeah to me. You want. Just say, Scott, slow down, you're talking too fast. Hang on, I didn't understand, I didn't get that. Yeah, please. Um, I, I got only the hold hand, no, foot brake. Yes. Then, then you release the handbrake. Right. Reapply the handbrake. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you want the handbrake to feel. No. How do you want brakes Not to feel? Yeah, good. All right. Right. Just okay. focus on the drive. Now we're out of that traffic. We're going to finish with questions for today. Mm -hmm. Do your homework, and we might do a few yeah. tomorrow. The handbrake is this car. It's yeah, it's an yeah. electrical brake, or what yeah. do they call them? Automatic. Yeah, the bike is there. Yes, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, mirror checks. Give it a bit of gas. If you're overtaking, do it as quickly and safely as possible. Good. You wait for a safe opportunity and then you take it full speed ahead. Okay, where's the sat nav telling us to go? Looks like it's telling us to turn After right. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A404, St. Thomas's Drive. Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Is it right on the roundabout, is it? I'm so glad you did that. Well done. What did you do? Take the right then. Yeah? Yeah. And what direction did you do on the roundabout? Where did you just drive? No, no, the satellite yeah. sat name said uh -huh. Turn, turn left, turn right, then isn't it? Yeah. Turn left. Ignore the sat nav now, please. Now he's asking turn left. No, what? ignore no? the sat nav. Just follow the road okay. ahead for now. Right. These things happen on test. Now I said I'm so glad that you did something, and we're just trying to get to the, mm -hmm. what you did. Mm -hmm. So what, what did you do? Mm -hmm. Sat nav said turn right. The yeah. Right, so sat nav said turn right. Yeah. What did you do at the roundabout? Turn. Where did you go? What direction did you take at the roundabout? Did you turn right? No, no. they turned. I didn't turn. Carry on the screen. Yes. Now why? I said, why, I'm why, glad why, why you did you that. Yeah, so we're trying to get to the. Yeah. reason now okay yeah. what lane were you in for oh, the left yes yes so by you going straight that was safe yeah but if you tried to turn right, right it's wrong you yeah. would have been a serious fault yeah we do not use a left lane for turning yeah. right that's dangerous yeah so i said i'm so glad you did that because you were safe yeah it doesn't yeah. matter about where oh, the sat nav or yeah. the examiners asked you to go yeah you're tested on your ability to be a safe driver yeah so no minor faults no major faults it's fine now i'm just going to ask you to go around the roundabout so we need to go all the way around the roundabout please
very good mirror signal on your exit and very good mirror signal on your entrance the signal on the entrance the right signal to go all the way around cancelled make sure you've got your trigger finger ready to fire that signal back on mm -hmm. because if there's any other vehicles looking at you waiting to join the roundabout and they see you're not signaling mm -hmm. they won't benefit they don't know where you're going yeah that could be a major fault oh. so the signal cancels get it back on and if the signal stays on Make sure you're ready with your trigger finger again to fire and cancel on the signal, okay? So always have the finger ready, that's why I'm kind of mentioning that, to put on or cancel signals accordingly, okay? Yeah. Right, now, keep following the road straight ahead, mm -hmm. and I will put the sat-nav back on, yeah. okay? okay. Okay, so the voice is back on, the sat nav is going to give us direction. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A404, Duxbridge Road. Now, I'd like you to follow the sat nav to the best of your ability. If you're not sure, ask me, I'll give you direction. Straight at the roundabout, second exit. A lot of people fail on this roundabout due to lane discipline. Look at the road marking, straight Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. Excellent, good lane discipline. Very nice. Mirrors to change direction. Good. Okay, so lane discipline is very good there. Seems like you really want to focus on doing the show me tell me questions today. So we're back in the traffic. Let's do a few more while we're waiting, okay? Yeah. Right, now, uh, can you show me how you would demist the rear window? Does that say rear? Rear window. Does that say rear? Yeah. How do you spell rear? Oh. Oh, sweet. Me and you, after we've made this video, we're going to go outside. <laughs> right? Rear means rear. Okay? Yes. My eyesight. All right, good. Okay, so again, when I say, and you're saying, yeah, it doesn't help you, it doesn't help me. Okay, so if you're not sure, just say, Scott, what did you say? <laughs> I, my head is buzzing, I'm, there's too much going on, you know. Just slow down, Scott. Tell me again, please. All right. Oh, thank now you. switch it off for me because the light's still on. There yeah. you go. All right. Yeah. Now the other button that you were going for, we do use it. It says max. That actually means it does everything. Okay. Mm. That would be missed our front window. It is. It says max. It puts max temperature max speed it just blasts everything mm -hmm. um, but we can use that to demist the front window so if you're asked to demist the front window yes do push this okay. button okay it will blast air out demist the windows but make sure you push it again to turn it off yeah otherwise you end up cooking you and the examiner and if I'm in the back me as well okay yeah. so it's important you know how to turn them on and off good mirror yeah. checks thank you that's another good habit you have. So when you've been waiting in traffic, before you drive away, you're checking all the mirrors for filtering traffic. Yeah. That's motorbikes, motorcycles, um, cyclists, I meant to say. Keep going now, you've passed the stop sign, you've passed the wait here sign, so it's not safe for you to stop. 
I had a student that did that, stopped in the road there, and it blocks yeah. all the oncoming. Yeah. So now it's not really going to be helpful, is it? Yeah. Start mm -hmm. the test. So that's good. We've got some show me, tell me questions done. Uh, we've also got that temporary traffic light that we just talked about. These are little things that can come up that usually don't come up on uh, mock test videos or situations on lessons and stuff. So this is very helpful because your test is tomorrow. Yeah. I don't think those roadworks are going to go anywhere from today to tomorrow. Yeah. So, you know, if that situation happens, it'll probably be very recent and relevant. You'll remember, oh, I've passed that sign now. I'm just going to keep going because I don't want to block the road. Okay? Yeah. Let's go do the roundabouts for me. Yeah. Good. And I'd like you to do the same as you did last time. After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A404, for the green. In fact, let's do it slightly different. This can happen on a very rare occasion. So instead of doing 99% uh, percent of the time what, what you're asked to do and go back to the test centre, which would be first at the, uh, straight at the first roundabout, left on the second roundabout, I want you to go straight on the first roundabout and right on the second roundabout. Okay. So different this time, okay? Yeah. So for that reason, instead of using the left lane to go yes, straight yes. and then left, what lane are we going to use to go straight and right? Right. Yeah. Okay. And that's actually where the sat nav's telling us to go. So we will follow the sat nav, and mm -hmm. this will take us around the back way back to the test centre. Uh -huh. So something I haven't actually put on any videos because all of my videos I've always done what the examiners usually do. Mm -hmm. But there's very rare occasions that they will do what the sat nav's asking us to do now. Um, it looks like that's what actually happened on this test because this is recorded a route from someone's real test. So we're following that route, and it seems like that's the direction they went in. Whether it was intentional or not, doesn't matter. Sometimes it happens. If you find yourself in the right lane, just go in the right lane, into the right lane on the roundabout, and turn right at the second roundabout. After 100 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A404, Villa Green. Cut the roundabout so get on it. Don't worry about going round it. No one there, Gita. Cross the no roundabout and take the second exit, yeah. Rickmansworth Road. It's not very professional for me to say this. Mm -hmm. Don't Sorry. look left. Why am I saying don't look left at a roundabout? Because we're going um, right, isn't it? It's not really the direction you're going that's important. It's the direction that has priority that's important. So who has priority at a roundabout? The vehicle's right. on there. Right. That's why I'm saying don't look left. Yeah, If right. you're looking right and you see there's no cars on the right, mm -hmm. do you need to stop? When the car is If there's right. no cars on the right. No cars, no. Good. Thank you, by the way, for not just saying yeah or whatever. <laughs> You're actually thinking now and answering me and, and asking me a question. If there's a car on the right and I'm saying, yeah, good, then I can see that you've actually, you know, understood what I was trying to say and you're asking me questions back. This is excellent. Two-way communication. Yeah. Do it with the examiner. Oh. Okay? Very, very useful. If you're not sure about something, don't do the yes man thing because it will annoy the examiner uh -huh. and then they're, they're going to get annoyed, they're more likely to give you major faults or whatever, okay, because you know, everyone's human when we get frustrated or annoyed. After 300 react yards, a certain way. go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, B472 Joel Street. If you have two way left. two way communication, I'll come back to that. It's just left at the roundabout first exit. Okay. But if we have two way communication, okay. then we're conversing. We're going to come yeah, to yeah, the that's you know, true. It's helpful. Left, yeah. Yes. If you're doing it again, excellent. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> left, yeah. Go yeah. Left, left on the roundabout. Good and take the first exit, then take the third left. Excellent observations, well done. Yeah. Okay, now there's a lot of zebra crossings on the roundabouts yeah. around here. So, um, 
a lot of people don't see them because they're focused a lot on no, keep going. Don't slow down. I want you to try and run people over. Mm. This is another unprofessional thing for me yeah. to say. And the reason why I'm saying it, yes, After we're going to an extreme. Because if drive. it's not a pedestrian crossing, which that was, mm -hmm. okay, if yeah. it's not a pedestrian crossing, you don't need to slow down. Slow down. They, you start they slowing, think... yeah, they're going to walk out. Yeah. Okay, turn, turn left. left. This is the tunnel. We're mm. approaching it from a different side. Side that takes you back to the test centre. Very nice mirror checks. No one coming through the tunnel, so we can enter the tunnel. I call it a tunnel because there's no gaps yeah. in these parked cars. So once we're in, we're in. The other person needs to stop and wait for us. Mm. This yeah. bend is a bit tricky because we can't see if there's any oncoming vehicles. Yeah. So we've got to do our best to try and keep to the left, which is going to help your observations or your vision around this bend. There yeah. we go. See the learner car driver coming. Good mind curve. Just getting a little bit close down here. Very good. And also um, giving some space for any oncoming vehicles. So very good positioning there. Well done. We're right down the middle of the road. The safest place for you to be. So your door length from the left, door length from the right. If anyone opens the doors, we're not going to have an accident. Safety bubble. It's like a meter gap yeah. all the way around the car. If we can keep that. Are you going straight? Yeah, just keep following the road ahead. And we're heading back towards the test centre where this mock test will conclude. So it's just having a little hiccup up there, so that's why I'm coming. After 200 yards, go straight on, then turn around when possible. Okay, can you actually no, just keep going? We're going to drive past the test centre. So just for the benefit of the video, um, we'll highlight that the exam is straight ahead through the gates, but we're not going to turn in there. We're going to follow the road. But if you were turning, yeah, go just straight follow on, the road. Ignore then that. Turn around when yeah. possible. Follow the road. If we were turning in here over these lines, do we need to signal if we were? We're not going to, just keep following the road. Yeah, but if we, you we were, need to keep yeah, the signal. Good. Yeah, good. All right, then I'd like to pull up in a safe place on the left, please. Okay, don't worry too much about driveways. You can stop anywhere on this occasion. It's up to you. Use pickle. Perfect. Okay, and uh, there we go, put it in park. That's the end. Okay, we're going to finish the video there. And I hope that's very useful for anybody watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And say an extra special thank you to people like Gita that really help us to go through these roads, talk them through, and give tips to everybody else.